when you question a narrative and it goes against what the narrative is quite often your history your toast you're gone and uh, it's quite incredible how fast that happens well andrew bridgen has got himself in a little bit of hot water hasn't he and i'll tell you about it next <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing all right. I'm not too bad, not too bad. Listen, I've got this problem with uh, Andrew Bridgen. He's lost the Tory whip. Uh, he's out on his ear, heavily condemned by uh, Sunak and even that nice I'm a celebrity, get me out of here fella, Mr Matt Hancock, decided to jump up and have a go as well. And the whole thing is to do with uh, Andrew's long-standing opinion of uh, a certain situation, should I say, that we've had going on for the last couple of years. He's been an outstanding critic. He's been very negative about the whole thing, the effects and everything else, and produced several articles via Twitter and other places uh, to back up what he's saying. And he's made a couple of uh, comments over the last couple of days, I suppose, which has resulted in him uh, being given the boot, having the Tory whip withdrawn. Uh, he's apparently been suspended for, I think, five days anyway, something to do with a lobbying scandal, lobbying problem. So when he comes back, he'll have to sit as an independent, all because he dared to question the narrative. Whether he's right or wrong, what uh, really uh, makes me look is... You know, when, when you dare to question what we're all led to believe, you're swept under the carpet as if you're a speck of dust and you're gone. Very interesting world we're living in, isn't it? Let me know what you think of Andrew Bridgen. Was he right? Uh, did he have a right to speak up or should he have just shut up and uh, followed the narrative the same as everybody else has? They've certainly done a very good job of uh, shoving him to one side and he got canned something chronic today by old uh, Dishy Rishi definitely, definitely, definitely I look forward to your comments have a good day and uh, where are we? yeah, I'll see you tomorrow Toodaloo